just two more super tournaments. Just two more. Can I make it in one night? Let's do Courage's Super Tournament. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Courage. Yeah. Alright, Courage. Mama had a chick. Oh, okay. what others? Oh my god. Who else do can help us? We interrupt this program to bring you I suppose Muriel. Meanwhile, I'm out of Snapple. My dad drank the rest of it, so... Have to sell Ink Fist Delight. Iced tea. <laughs> so... I know, Courage! I'm screaming in pain on the inside, too! Okay. By the way, I was playing Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed on the Xbox 360. A game I'd much rather be playing right now, because it is damn good. <laughs> Having good controls, um, AI being Fair, even on the higher difficulties where they tend to be faster and smarter than you are. So... See, that's what I mean! They just come up on you for no good reason! We have to go up here because of the stupid oil barrel. Oh my god. Of course Muriel had to be delayed in launching that rocket. Oh my fucking god. I saw that Courage had pretty bad handling, but how is it this fucking bad? Like, I'm pressing as hard on the- oh my god. I can't even demonstrate it because then I risk losing. And then anytime co someone hits Courage from the side, he get, like bounces all over the fucking place. It's like so freaking stiff, you can't even recover from it. Oh, another thing Sega All Stars Racing did right weapons would actually hit shit. Well, I hate this fucking track anyway, so I guess Dexter deserved the win. So... I really feel like Jesse Ridgway right now. He's slowly be being in driven insane by Psycho Dad. Because Psycho Dad's taken away literally all of his human rights. And he and Psycho Kid Jesse Ridgway is only staying there to recover his money that's probably all gone by now. Hopefully this time you will. And you know what? I love how I'm not allowed to criticize how that boy stays in the house, knowing that he shouldn't be there. And meanwhile, when I make comments about it, I get all these stupid kids saying that, oh, it's fake. Who the fuck cares? People uh, in horror movies always criticize horror movie main characters for making stupid decisions. I'm not allowed to do that. And then, of course, I get LOL responses. 
Silly schnick. It's fake. Don't worry about it. He's fine. Well, his character's not fine. Alright, are we gonna get the invisible wall? Shit. Oh my god, it looked like we were about to get the invisible wall. Shit. Hey, I got chicken. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Sorry for the silence that it happens periodically. It's just that I have to focus so that I can come out of this with my sanity intact. So there is no invisible wall shit. Okay. Dude, cartoon, cartoon! That's what I'm fucking playing, it's a fucking cartoon! And that fucking rocket was definitely manipulated by Susie! How could it go that off? And once again, oh my god, the power slide's not even working anymore. I keep telling Courage to power slide like this, and yet it keeps delaying to the point where he power slides in the other direction. My God. Power slide was tighter in Sega All Stars Racing as well. Oh my God. Hey! No! Fuck! Oh my fucking god, of course the super speed from the fucking shield! Yay, Dexter got us! Pass him! Pass him now! He must the house! I want this game to fucking end now! God, this series is going to be the death of me. Oh, and a little spoiler alert. All this screaming is not how I am in real life. I'm just playing a character right now. That's a little disclaimer. That I'm probably going to have to edit out and put in the description as to not ruin the effect. <laughs> Yippee, I'm losing! Because this game has tested me long enough!
Psycho Dad's lawnmower saves the day again from Schnick because he is an evil bastard who has to lose. All because he wants to make some freaking YouTube videos to revisit all the games he played as a kid and possibly help other people relive the times when they were kids too. That is such a fucking crime. As Susie Carmichael, the world's best saint, has ever proved. And now he's activating super speed again. We gotta make him lose somehow. Gotta make us lose somehow. Right. Avoid the Psycho Dad lawnmower. Go! Thank God. Maybe I can actually calm down for a bit. Yes, Courage, I've had enough too. And of course we're about to die. Ah, Mr. Eyeball is thinking about the end, so he went out the street so that somebody could, one of these racers could end it for him. I couldn't say the obvious joke of how I don't blame him since I feel the same way, but no. Personally, I've never had suicidal thoughts, even though I've gone through situations that would want to make many people suicidal. Like bullying. Um, thinking the world hated him. Thinking the world was out to get you, like something like that. Or playing bad games. But nope. I'm staying right here. The only way that my life will end prematurely is if someone takes it from me. So. But, I'm pretty sure Susie's not daring enough to do it. She's only three years old. She doesn't understand what death is. I'm, I, I, I'm, actually, I'm pretty sure she does. Her mommy teaches her everything. That's how she knows how to deal with me. Bubbles knows what death is because she kills supervillains all the time. But then again, Bubbles head doesn't seem to be bothering me anymore. Hell, she's helped me out. So... If only it was possible to do tricks to gain additional boosts of speed. Oh, 
All right, come on. Well, thank you. Oh my God, it's only the third lap. Out of the fucking way of Mandark, who's dropping the oil. So, meanwhile, getting all the going all the way back to the McJugger Nuggets thing and how all those kids in his cancerous comic section are like, oh, it's fake. Or it's either that. They say, oh, it's fake. Or they say, oh, like my comments to get some good luck. Subscribe to me to get even more good luck. Ignore me or you'll get fucked by a rapist. Comments like that, and I fucking hate that kick kick comments that stuff like that. Oh my god. But here's my thing. Why does everyone have to make a big deal about stuff being fake? I love how that rocket was fucking stupid. <laughs> For once something actually goes my way, but All right, we're back to the subject on hand. Um, why does everyone have to make a big deal if something is fake? Now, you might be thinking, oh, what's your opinion? Are the Psycho Dad videos fake? Well, they very well could be. They get a lot of views. They can make him good money. He has good incentive to make them, so. But personally, I don't care. Because those videos entertain me. <laughs> The dad has some good one-liners. There's some good destruction in them. <laughs> Come on. Who did not enjoy the video where his game room is demolished with him still in it? Sure, that's like a really dangerous thing, but <laughs> it worked. So... If it's real, then that's fucked up shit going on. If it's fake, then it's a really damn good show that's being put on. I really don't understand why people have to make such a big deal about it. Like, oh, it's fake. It's not authentic. It, he's trying. He's scamming kids. Ooh. Honestly, the kids that kept sending him all that fan mail stuff, it's their fault, not his. He even explicitly said for ki kids not to send them expensive shit, yet they do it anyway. And don't say, oh, they're kids who don't know any better. Um, clearly they do, since they fully knew what they were sending and all that. Kids? Oh my god. People think kids are freaking stupid. No, they're not. Sure, they don't have a full understanding of how stuff works. But they still have a brain. And they know what they sh they know what's right and what's wrong for the most part. Or at least they know the obvious things. Like no killing people. Um no hitting people, like taking it a step back. Um being nice. Among other things, like all the basic things of uh, functioning like a good person. They know how to understand that. It's the more complicated stuff, like, oh, is what to do if a bad person attacks you or something. Because there's like a multitude of things that can go down. You can either confront them directly, you can go to go to like law enforcement or something like there's like a million options there and kids may not understand what to do there but of course the speed boost shield is coming well how do you like this bitch oh DD and Dexter kept that fucking store just for moi. And Mandark ran off the rope specifically to get me. Hey. 
So it's on. Good to know we got the fucking useless oil drum when Mandark went in front of us. And then we had the fucking speed boost shield again. Come on! Ha! Ha ha ha! How do you like me now? How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Hey, you like me now? Hey, you like me now? I was doing a little dance, but there's no camera recording me, so you don't get to see me. But of course, courage is no. Of course, courage is still losing. Lovely. Now we're on a brand new track that we do not understand in the slightest. The odds are ever in our favor, are they not? I'm weak, and I'm just hanging back here. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Now we're in the basement, where a plug awaits for courage to help drain the house of water that's going to flood it because of King Ramses. Panic power. Oh, wait. Yeah. And then we have fucking worms there. Mandark needs to get in fucking last place. Now! Good to know the frickin' scythe is- Oh my god! And now Dexter's laying it! Oh my god, chicken! Oh my fucking god. So close, we get the useless rubber ducky! Well, maybe not useless, but not for our situation. Oh my god. Uh, go! Not the scarecrow! Alright, the worms just poke us! Alright. Oh! Get off the frickin' oil! Okay. We may have a chance. And then Mandark speeds ahead. Right, out of my frickin' way! How do we push him along? Like that. That's not how frickin' pushing cars at high speeds works. They don't just magically get bar wheelbarreled with you. They spin out of control. Oh my fucking god. And then the poking worm is right there. Oh! So close! So close! So close! Alright! Oh my fucking god. I really don't know what to say. So, thank you. And we're ahead. Another cartoon eliminator I will not be playing. Plus the Magic Tree of Nowhere episode. Ugh. Final video up next. Help me. 
somebody help me?